All right. You know, it's funny that this Bible been opened up to this page for days. Mm. So I don't know where it cut off at. This is going to be part two of Psalms. Um, let's just say um, 79 through 88. I don't know where we're going to stop. Okay. So again, it's come back. We beg of you. Okay. So again, there is this energy of, I don't know, baby, come back. That song just went through my mind. But like come back, but in a sense, you know, it's almost, oh, how can I explain it? It's almost like, you know, I just think some energies just don't want the truth to be told. They don't want it to be seen the way it is. And that's what the whole, like, distraction sometimes kind of comes in. As you remember your, your own greatness, as they should as well. If that's what they are. You know, real kings and queens fix each other's crowns. They don't throw them down. But don't expect if you're throwing somebody else's down in the dirt, you know, for them to, you know, want to be fixing yours. And again, that's that whole so-called, we'll just say division, because you don't want to use too much words that give people all up in their feelings automatically. And I'm pretty sure we're all guilty of this because, again, some of us are remembering. Some of us have been blinded. Some of us had, have had work done on us. Some of us have had things on our backs for a very long time. The heck? Something moving around outside. What <laughs> made me go inside the house? <laughs> so, again, I don't know. It's just about seeking source. I, Mm. Whatever that would mean to you. Only then shall we be saved. God of heaven's armies, how long will you be angry and reject our prayers? You have fed us with sorrow and tears and have made us scorn of the neighboring nations. And again, you know, like, oh my goodness, this is so energy of today, what is going on? But like, really, it's not. It's just setting the record straight and moving forward, right? And, and dealing with people, realizing that there has been division, realizing that it's been done by design, realizing that it may have come from the gods. Hey, it may be mistakes of the ancestors, but again, we're all here now. We know what it, we're, we're looking at it differently now. What's wrong with treating your neighbor the way that you treat yourself? Because if everybody did that, then everybody would be treating, I mean, if you treat yourself well, and if you know yourself, and if you're dealing with the man in the mirror as much as possible, you know, we all got things. We all trying to just change for the better. When we look at these things, I know that I just read them off and we talk about the negative things so we can point them out. But then again, there's positives. The positive thing is that people are actually doing the work now. People are actually doing the work and going within and healing themselves in a sense. To the point where they can be maybe be heard by source, the all in the earth. Or the universe, my fault. Because you have to first know what the problem is. So initially, that first savior is yourself realizing that something is wrong. And again, there's something that needs to be done within in order to get to a certain place where you will be able to operate. Some people are going to be shamans. Some people are going to be healers. Some people are going to be these spiritualists, seers, oracles. Some people are going to be people that go out in the field. Some people are empresses and emperors. So again, they sit on their throne and they do just get to say stuff. And they get to utilize their power. And if it's working, why who mad? Why you mad? Why? Why would we be trying to replace somebody and put somebody else in a place? Why?
And that's honoring, again, your most high self, which would then, I feel, connects us to source. If you're dealing low vibrational, you can't really get there. And it can fluctuate, I feel. Uh, because we're worried about outside things and what people want to project onto you. And you start seeing it like that, like, oh, is that me? You know, and then right away I can answer, ah, that ain't what I'm doing. That ain't what I came here for. So I, you got the wrong person. You must not be talking about me even if he is. That must be something you got going on. Hmm. Okay. Um, they laugh amongst themselves. Turn us against, wait, turn us again towards yourself, O God of hosts. Uh, look down on us in joy and love. Only then shall we be saved. You, <clears throat> excuse me. You brought us from Egypt as though we were a tender vine and drove away the heathen from your land and planted us. You cleared the ground and tilled the soil and we took root and filled the land. The mountains were covered with our shadows. We were like the mighty cedar trees, covering the entire land from the Mediterranean Sea to the Euphrates. But now you have broken down our walls, leaving us without protection. So again, you know, this makes, this has me, you know, like with some energy behind, you know, um, you know, uh, governing forces. Um, in a sense, you know, take it how you want to take it, but that's just what I see here again, because we are judging people by outward appearance. This is why, again, not for me anymore. It's about the works and what I sense by exercising those sensors or senses. The hour from the forest roots around us and the wild animals feed on us. Come back, we beg of you, O Lord of armies of the heaven, and bless us. Look down from heaven and see our plight and care for this, your vine. Protect that. Uh, protect what you yourself have planted. Okay? This sun you have raised for yourself, for we are chopped and burned. Uh by our enemies, may they perish at your frown. Strength, strengthen the men or the man you love, the son of your choice, and we will never forsake you again. Revive us to trust in you. Turn, wait a minute, the son of your choice, and we'll never forsake you again. Revive us to trust in you. Um, again, son can just mean descendant, okay? Uh, turn us again to yourself, O oh God, of the armies of heaven. Look down on us, your face aglow with joy and love. Only then shall we be saved. So again, I believe that uh, Jehovah or Jehovah is the name that is being represented in some of these um, chapters here. And so I'm just wondering, and I'm just wondering like, I don't know, since we're talking about love and war, I'm wondering what this has to do with. It says 80 and 17, the footnote says, the man you love, literally, the man of your right hand, the son of your choice, literally, the son of man you made strong for yourself. Okay, so we're in 81. The Lord makes us strong, sing praises, sing praise, uh, sing to Israel's God, sing accompanied by drums, pluck the sweet lyre and harp, sound the trumpet, 
come to joyous celebration at full moon, new moon, and all the other holidays. For God has given us these times of joy. They are scheduled in the laws of Israel. He gave them as a reminder of his war against Egypt, where we were slaves on foreign soil. So again, it's almost making me think about the uh, king's speech. Um, you know, uh, that the Negro is still anguishing in the corners of society in his own um, in his own land, right? But it, again, it says slaves on foreign soil, right? Huh. Against Egypt, where we were slaves on foreign soil. But again, slaves, okay, on foreign soil. Soil. Because again, the American Aborigines wouldn't have been prisoners of war, um, meaning that someone came into their particular land and took it. But in our case, we were taught, again, that people were from a different nation, so it made us foreign, I guess, right? Or from foreign soil. Um, what we would have thought, right? And, but now we see that that wasn't the case for many. Hmm. And again, against Egypt. So, yeah, he gave them, a, okay, or she, right? Because we, we, we're looking at he, him, he, she, right? Okay. But again, something was fueling this. We didn't, we didn't just wake up one day and realize this. There was something, there's someone or an energy that has been with us. Showing us the way. Showing us the way. And then we did the, the footwork. I heard an unknown voice that said, now I will relieve your shoulder of its burden. I will free your hand from their heavy task. He said, you cried to me in trouble and I saved you. I answered from Mount Sinai where the thunder hides. I tested your faith at Meribah. When you complained, there was no water. So again, that water I feel represents Mm. human life or again foreign energies meaning as, as though like King James like people read that Bible right well then King James was somewhat a colonizer but did that make him back you know what I'm saying I'm, I think we get a sense that soon as people came here they just were stabbing and killing people and you know what I'm saying but I think that again there was something that was organic and natural about the the uh, grafting in at some point to those people then but something happened these things that we're still talking about this jealousy envy strife and ulterior motives happened that shifted that just like all these people is not like that and all those people are not like that. It's just not the way. This is you no good from bad. Either that's what you are or you're not. That's how you're going to treat people or you're not. You're going to be in your feelings and your emotions about something and, and do people some kind of way or you're not. And then why would they need water? Right? Because again, when the earth joined with the earth, we're talking about original people from the Americas and original people from other places intermingling. But then what happens? What happened when, again, when we talk about a matriarchal society, when then that dominance of that male energy, instead of the balance coming in, the dominance came in on the women at that time. And sometimes in a very, we know what kind of way. So those women are back now. Those Amazonian, those giants. It's just about your energy and that light that you carry. So again, at this time, they had to be ready for that. And we have to be reassembled. We have to look at it again. It's not as that she is over or anything like that. She is the wisdom, though.
So again, and, and most of the time it's the royal bloodlines that are attached to those bloodlines, right? Maybe of King I Am, right? Or those Eve, uh, Lilith or Eve energies that would have been the first ones, the first waters, right? Or the so-called black waters, right? That we read about. Because again, it's about that dis disconnection between people for rank or power or money or whatever it is. It's, it's every single time. That's why it's important to bring up the fact that it's not always other people. Sometimes it's yourself. Sometimes it's people that look like you. Some people, sometimes it's people that don't look like you. Sometimes it's institutions. Sometimes it's just energy. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes it's just that time. And so... Mm. So again, that somebody would have had to worry about the water not being there because their own people are trying to take them out or take them down. Because their own brothers, what, what happened in the Bible? It's always the brothers that went against the brother that brought in that other energy. When it came to the Indians or the so-called Native Americans or whoever, it was the brother that went against brother that opened up the door for that energy to come in. So I can't even understand. You want to see who the highest in the room is? See who's the most despised. So it's not, in, and, and then that's taken as narcissism when it's really people exercising their right to, again, share these particular things to show what, the, what somewhat of the truth is closest to the damn truth, right? Setting the record straight. Nobody likes the truth. They hate the truth. Somebody will try to stab you in your back because of the truth. But the truth don't change because you don't like it. It just don't. I learned that. It doesn't. That's why I'm thankful for everything that has happened to me and I've turned it into something positive and, turn, and used it as tools in order to not let myself get pulled into some type of, you know, it's always it's a daily battle. I tell you that. But again, I won't stay down. <laughs> No matter what people think of your outward appearance or how you look or sound or anything, if you know yourself and you love yourself, can't nobody take that away from you. And they always outside looking in. Listen to me, all my people, while I give you stern warnings. Oh, Israel, if you will only listen, you must never worship any other God, nor even have an idol in your home. For it was I... your God who brought you out of the land of Egypt only test me open your mouth wide and see if I won't fill it you will receive every blessing you can use but no my people won't listen Israel doesn't want me around wow so I'm letting them go their blind and stubborn way, living according to their own desires. Oh my goodness, is that not the energy of this day? And these other idols in your home, these are, again, unfortunately, it's men and women and other entities and energies, right, that people are looking to. And... Again, when we're talking about these idols, we're talking about, uh, you know, it, it's talking about divine masculine and feminine. It's talking about that pyramid. It's talking about the, 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 um, the beehive. Again. Something happened where the queen bee had been challenged. And even her male bees need to come back to mama for guidance sometimes. As she looks to them to know what's going on in the kingdom. 
But then you have, again, sometimes little bees that, for whatever reasons, end up being led astray. And then that energy comes in and then that might challenge the queen and or the empress and that could be a problem in certain kingdoms since we are talking about Egypt and stuff here, okay? Hmm. But oh, that my people would listen to me. Oh, that Israel would follow me walking in my path. How quickly then I would subdue her enemies, okay? So again, this does sound like a matter of a masculine energy because when it is what it is, it is what it is. How soon my hands would be upon her foes. Those who hate the Lord would cringe before him. Their desolation would last forever, but he would feed you with the choicest foods. He will satisfy you with honey for the taking. But again, yeah, I mean, but again, land of milk and honey. I don't know why I just thought breast milk and something really sweet. I, said, I think we said something about that sweet water. As opposed to the bitter water. Again, there's that two energies. <laughs> the positive and the negative that came with even colonization. So it says 81 and 7 in the footnotes. Uh, Mount Sinai implied literally in the hiding place of thunder. And again, this god or goddess must have been very upset about these idols, which I don't think necessarily have anything to do with statues and stuff like that. I feel like this is a, a, a empress or a king, I mean, an empress or an emperor saying, get rid of whatever extra energy that's around. And let's do this. I feel like that's what it's talking about right here. And so again, when we're talking about this fall of cabal today, I wonder what that kind of represents. What are we talking about here? Because it sounds as if certain energies are going to be released with whatever is going on. And just so happened, it just kind of shocked me with some of the states that were listed. Like Wisconsin, maybe getting some refugees, and I can't remember some other places. Only test me, all right? 81 and 10. All right, and then 81 and 16, honey for the taking, literally, honey out of the rock. And again, that also is making me think about cups running over, <laughs> runneth over, and that uh, liquid gold, when we're talking about the thalamus and we're talking about mounting and we're talking about Venus and we're talking about that particular energy. So this is talk, for, for me, since we're scrying and we're doing the tarot with this, no, this is not the Torah, but, right. It's almost like an anointing to be able to see. All right? So again, 82. God stands up to open heaven's court. 
he pronounces judgment on the judges. All right. So again, this I feel like is what's coming possibly to those who are judging. Hmm. How long will you judge? Just refuse to listen to the um, evidence. How long will you shower special favors on the wicked? Like giving them grace to continue to speak and do these things behind closed doors. And that's exactly what I was saying. Like why, why? I know that if people's watching what's going on here, then they know what's going on there. And so why don't they persecute those people? But I'm guessing this is, again, I guess we're going to find out if it's even their job, right? Give fair judgment to the poor man, the afflicted, the faith, the fatherless, the destitute, right? Because again, some of our, some of these groups have been abandoned by their fathers, right? From the grasp of the evil man. But you are so foolish and so arrogant because you are in darkness. All the foundations of society, I'm almost done, hold on one second, are shaken to the core. I have called you all gods and sons of the most high, but in death you are mere men. You will fall as any prince, for all must die. Stand up, O God, and judge the earth for all of its belonging, okay, for all of it belongs to you. Hold on one second. Hold on, I'm told you I'm almost done, Okay. All right, stop. Okay, so stand up, O God, and judge the earth, for all of it belongs to you. All nations are in your hands. So again, this is making me think again what we're talking about. Every knee shall bow. And I think that this is also talking about, again, after that connection is made, whether it's physical or not, that divine uh, unity. Right? That's what I feel. All nations are in your hand. So it's just making me think that whatever's going on is a facade right now because certain people like myself and others can't see. But I was once blind and now I see. It's just like that movie Jupiter Ascending. It's just like it, dude. It's just like it. So, again, I think that's it for tonight. I did want to go a little bit further, but I think I'm going to be done with that. And I just hope that, I mean, I don't know. I hope that it helps somebody see something. Again, I'm pretty sure somebody can catch something in here that helps just open the eyes. And that's all. That's that's all that I'm trying to do. I don't, I'm not, I don't need to convince nobody of nothing <laughs> that I already know. And, again, it just is what it is for me. I don't know. People need to figure out what it is for them. And just, uh, I guess we can figure out how we're going to move forward. Gratitude and Graham Rising, and I'll see you guys later. Don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe, and share if you'd like. Again, and join us in the Facebook group, American Aborigines Unchained, for more alternative information, past, present, and future. And I'll see you guys soon.